to the battle here uh, of the bandmates. Daryl Hall and John Oates going head to head in a new lawsuit. The duo collaborated on a string of classic hits throughout the 70s and 80s, of course. But now Hall is suing Oates, even filing a temporary restraining order. Will Reeve joins us now with the details. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Gio. Good morning, all. To music fans, fans of Hall and Oates, they're like the musical version of peanut butter and jelly. They should always be together. But it seems like now Daryl Hall and John Oates may have lost that love and feeling. This morning, one half of one of the biggest duos in pop music history saying when it comes to his other half performing their hit songs without him, well, he won't go for that. Daryl Hall of the Grammy-nominated Hall & Oates suing his former musical brother, John Oates. Most details are sealed, but the case type, as filed in Nashville court, lists contract slash debt and reportedly involves a dispute over division of royalties and or over Oates performing some of their biggest hits solo on tour. Songs like Man Eater. And Out of Touch. When people collaborate in a band, the name of the band itself is intellectual property. If they don't have an agreement, then they can't individually use the name of the brand without the permission of the other. On top of that, Hall also requesting a temporary restraining order against Oates, which the judge has granted. The duo burst onto the scene in the 1970s. For nearly 20 years, almost every one of their singles charting on the Billboard Hot 100. They had six number ones and eight platinum albums and were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2014. But despite success, the group was also plagued by constant reports of conflict and multiple hiatuses. Hall reminding reporters their official name is not Hall and & Oates and appearing on a podcast with Bill Maher creating distance from his bandmate. You still tour together, don't you? Yeah, but he's not my partner. Well, you're part He's my business partner. Uh, he's oh, not geez, my well, look what I've stumbled into here. He's, I, not, I, he's I, not my creative partner. Their last studio album together was in 2006, but the pair continued to tour together, performing just last year. It would be pretty difficult for these two to work together after this lawsuit. We've reached out to Daryl Hall and John Oates' joint management team. No comment yet. In that podcast interview, Hall did clarify he likes Oates. Oh, no, no, I, he said. I like John. We're friends. We just have different directions. Wow. Clearly, that's playing out in the courts, right? I mean, okay. really shocking to hear those comments. Yeah. Mm. And All right, so well. many hits, but we didn't seem to realize Hall and Oates, not their actual name. Yeah, officially. Right. Daryl Hall and John Oates. There you go. Who knew? Well, thank there you. you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.